Cynthia Cooper from the Houston Comets has led him to three consecutive WNBA titles. And the electrifying Stevie Francis out of Maryland in his rookie campaign. And he looks over here at John Thompson, and John gives him a thumbs up, and Stevie's ready. Home boy. Home boy. <laughs> here he goes with an eight right out of the dock, and he can't get it. Another try for Stevie Francis from eight-point range. Oh, and a good one. They're through with their layups. Yes. Seven-point try. Again, what you say, Coach? Balance. Well, you, you have, have to get balance. balance. You have to definitely get balance because that gets you a lot of shots. I'm surprised more players aren't shooting at the four spot, just like you said, the free throw now. Especially after you miss a couple of them. Get we the four spot and get a couple of points and then ease back out. I don't think it's more than two or three shots in there all evening. Well, you got a long rebound on the deep shots. The deep shots are great only if they go in. Well, they've only got 16 points. That one will go down from seven. And this one will go down from seven. Francis from eight. Oh! Big shot yes. by Francis. Clock is running down, though. They, they're on the bubble. They've got to get this eight-point shot by Francis. Oh! Yes, yes. So they fall out, and it's still Phoenix with Jason Kidd and Miss Gill. And 38 points total from the defending champion, Houston Tandem. Cynthia Cooper, who was with Clyde Drexler a couple of years ago in Stevie Francis. So here we go. Williams and Hornacek against Gillum and Kidd. The All-Star two-ball finalists are set from the All-Star game 2000 in Oakland, California.